Hi, my name is Peach, and welcome back to MoGraph Monday. Today, I'll be showing you how to make these lines in DaVinci Resolve. Let's get started. So I originally got this idea from Kale. He uses it a lot in his edits over here. As you can see, the lines are back here, the lines are back in here. And so if we go over here, so we wait and see the lines. They just animate like this on the screen. It's just a nice little movement thing to show in the edit. And so I decided I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now, especially since I used it in my second channel edit over here. When I for my map part, you can see in between the two characters over here. All right, so let's get started. Here, I'm going to open up my effects library and go down to toolbox down to effects and over to fusion composition and add this to my timeline right now mine is one second long i'm just going to go inside a fusion all right here i'm inside a fusion with my media in and the first thing we're going to add is a polygon node i'm going to grab it from our toolbar up here or just hit shift space type in polygon and add it that way but this is here i'm just going to add it like that and we're going to view it in our viewer over here then i'm just going to click over here and click over here to make our line and then i'm going to go up to the insert and modify tool over here and then now we have our two points we're going to just select these two and i'm going to hit shift p on my keyboard and it's going to publish these points and so we can actually have the point controls over here in our inspector so i'm just going to normalize these values so this one's going to be at zero this one's going to be at 0.5 this one's going to be at one and this one is going to be at 0.5 and now we have this line going across our image just like this but now you can't see it because we need to up the border width so i'm just going to add a one at the end of this and it's going to give us a little small line as you can see right over there and then i'm going to add a background node i'm going to bring this over here and then put our polygon to the background node so we can actually see the line and then color the line up whatever color that we want now i'm going to add the waviness so i'm going to add a waviness node by hitting shift space type in waviness hit enter and i'm going to view our waviness node right here i'm going to change the waviness type to horizontal and as you can see the ripples are coming up and so i'm going to adjust the scale to see how many ripples that i want or the strength to see how big the mountains and valleys i want to have i'm just going to put around there is fine i'm going to put the scale up as well it's maybe something around there and then if i play this back right now it's on animate and speed and so this is going to automatically animate over here and i'm actually going to copy this node right here and then paste it and then add the background to this waviness node over here again and then we could adjust the speed so we say we want it a little bit faster right there and then i'm going to add a merge node so add a merge node from right there and connect these two to these merge right here and i'm going to view the merge and we can play it back as you can see our lines are moving but they're kind of like moving at the same pace especially the the same phases so i'm going to go over here and adjust the phase and so it's kind of starts moving at a different time and then right here we're just going to play with it until i get something i want maybe i want to do a little bit slower because it, then it gives us that little illusion that we have and if we can do it even more slower then we have something like this it's kind of looks like one's moving past the another one and something like that if you do like kale you want it moving it a lot faster something like this will work and then maybe even adjust the strength to have it a little bit different or even the scale like this as well but yeah overall that's basically how you do this effect and then what i did in the video is actually added a dve node so i shift space type in dve and then i was able to move this around in 3d space while still keeping it in 2d space but yeah just move it around like this and make it look like it's in the scene the way that i want it to look like uh something like this all right there we go if you're interested in other mograph monday videos click this playlist right here well, it shows you all of them. Otherwise, subscribe and have a good day.